Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have some retro video game pickups to show you guys. Um, I only have four games to share with you guys, but um, in my opinion, two of them were amazing finds. Um, but I'm going to start out with one item that isn't a video game. It's a video game guidebook, and it's the official uh, guidebook for Riven, the sequel to Myst. And I got this for 99 cents at a Salvation Army, the one that I usually go to. And it was in really good condition, and I pretty much bought this because that day I went to, let's see, three, uh, three thrift stores and uh, two used game stores, and this is the only thing I ended up finding and purchasing. Uh, there was pretty much nothing else at all of anything uh, that was even remotely interesting to me uh, or even close to being a fair price uh, so I went ahead and grabbed that for a dollar. Uh, next up with the games uh, I have two Game Boy games here uh, the first one that I got is a Game Boy Color game uh, it's also compatible with the original Game Boy uh, it's Gex Enter the Gecko I got that for two ninety nine, as you can see right there uh, at Game Center at uh, Young and Bloor uh, in downtown Toronto uh, currently they're having a sale at their store uh, for March break and I forget the exact specials but it's something along the lines of uh, buy one get one free for like used PS2 and original Xbox games there's no sale on GameCube games um, we 360 and PS3 games are something like buy one get one 50% off um, and then little minor sales like 10% off DS games uh, but they have a lot of specials right now and I thought I'd go into the store and look around and this is one of the games that I grabbed there was no special on it but like, I mean $3 and it was reduced from uh, another price there is another price tag underneath it but I don't think I can uh, get that off without <laughs> ripping it off uh, let me just take a quick look and see right now I'm trying to take this off see what the old price was the old price was <laughs> not that you can really tell but it was $6.99 I'm assuming yeah $6.99 was the previous price on this, so two ninety nine definitely a good enough deal. Uh, one thing I like about Game Center is that they do change their prices often and usually uh, reduce their prices, especially if a game's been sitting there for some time. Now, the other game that I got, I got this from Value Village, uh, from one that I don't usually go to, and pretty much it's out of the way, and I took the time to go there and. Uh, it really doesn't take that long, it only took me half an hour to get there, but the fact that it took half an hour to get there and I didn't really find anything, uh, they had an original Xbox in a refurbished box uh, with the cables but no controllers priced at $80, and they had a couple other games that were just ridiculously priced and really weren't even worth anything. Um, but since it took me some time to get out there, I went ahead and grabbed this since at least it was in really good condition, very clean, and it even came with the case. Um, it is Tecmo Bowl uh, for the Game Boy, and it came in that case, and it was three ninety nine. And, I mean, at the end of the day, I went ahead and made the purchase because it helped me complete a 30% off stamp card for Value Village, so... Uh, I went ahead and grabbed that. Now, the next game I want to show you guys, I got this about a week ago uh, at the Value Village that I usually go to. And I went later in the day, uh, I went straight for the uh, shelf where they usually have DVDs and video games. And there was just a whole lot of garbage, like nothing new, stuff that's been there for in some cases weeks now and other stuff that was new but not worthwhile at all uh... 
But I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a look at the CD uh, shelf because who knows, maybe there is a PS1 game mixed in somewhere there. And I didn't find anything else uh, video game related in there except for well, a couple of PC games, but I don't usually buy PC games. But I'm looking around, looking around, looking around, and I see this, and I just can't believe my eyes that I finally got this game, and for just $3, uh, because the cashier didn't say anything, it's in a CD case, so they priced it at $2.99. Final Fantasy VII Black Label, uh, with all the discs and the manual in really good condition. Uh, there's disc one, and then discs two and three. Just the case is a little bit damaged, but the discs themselves are just uh, a little bit dusty, but absolutely no scratches on it. And I'm happy that I finally have a complete copy of this game, because uh, for the last few months I've been playing this game, but... I only had a disc only copy of it and it was just an eyesore. I tried printing up uh, a case for it, like the artwork for it, but it doesn't look good. It's all in black and white and just not the right uh, size to sort of fit into the case. So just, it didn't look visually pleasing. So I'm going to have to try to get rid of my disc only copy. Uh, I paid $10 for the disc only copy, so. I don't know, I might even try getting rid of it for like five bucks or something if somebody really uh, wants it. Now the last game that I got, uh, I had to pay a little bit more for this game and it was at uh, my local thrift store, I'll call it. Uh, it's one that's very close to me, it's actually just around the corner from where I live. and. I was actually told about this from a friend. He sent me a message on Facebook saying that this store had in their window display uh, Sega Saturn with some games, but they were just two uh, loose disc uh, sports games. I think they were both baseball. Uh, he also said that they had a Super Nintendo with a stack of games, uh, two controllers, and the cables. And uh, this game here was priced separately and I mean at least it was priced separately so I was able to purchase it because I really didn't want to purchase the whole set uh, they had the Sega Saturn priced at $89.99 and the Super Nintendo with four games were priced at uh, $99.99 and I hope I really hope so that they don't sell they get reduced and they're still in the store when they do the 50% off sale uh, either at the end of this week or the end of next week so that I can go and buy them. But the odds are really against me as to buying those. Anyways, to get to the point, Super Nintendo game here, I paid twenty four ninety nine for it. Uh, you might be able to see that. It's kind of hard to make out, but twenty four ninety nine. You might think, what game was I willing to pay $24.99 for? And sadly, it's nothing uh, too hard to find or too valuable for the system. It's not uh, It's not a game like Chrono Trigger or Earthbound or anything uh, even approaching that. But it is still a very good game from a series that I've been meaning to uh, put more time in. I've tried playing more recent games, but they're just not the same as the more straightforward classics. So I'm very happy to add this to my collection. It's Super Castlevania 4 uh, with a pretty mint label on there as well. I'm trying to catch all the lights so you guys can see there's no uh, tears or scratches of any kind on it. Uh, and I mean, I'm just really happy to add another Castlevania game to the collection. Uh, I'm still looking for a good majority of the classics. I have one for the Game Boy, one for the NES, uh, and this one here. But I'm still looking for a lot of the PS1 uh, Castlevania games. Uh, anything after that, really, I'm not too interested in. Uh, but I'm 
happy to add another harder to find uh, Super Nintendo game. Uh, at least here in Toronto, Super Nintendo games are way overpriced. Uh, they're one of the uh, consoles that seem to have been uh, priced up more lately, but uh, thankfully I was able to find this. I'd price this game at around 40 to $50. Uh, and probably in some retail locations here in the city, it would be even more than that. Uh, I've seen this game up to 70 or $80, so to be able to get it for 25 I thought it was a fair enough deal, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, anyways, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, uh, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, website. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, that's it. See ya.